Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and we are like a week and a half away from the winter update, and we have just finished the Halo World Championships in which Optic won, and there's been a ton of news and publicity for Halo in that time frame. Major Nelson and Phil Spencer also tweeting about how cool it is to be at the Halo World Championships. And from that, a lot of interest has been drumming up about the Winter Update. And there have been a couple articles talking about how it's going to be a relaunch of Halo Infinite. Now, before we get into the meat and potatoes of the video, I will ask that if you enjoy Halo content, go ahead and throw a sub my way. We are grinding to 100k subs, so I would greatly appreciate it. Anyways, there's been a couple of news outlets saying that it was going to be a relaunch with the Winter Update of Halo Infinite. And I think that that's very disingenuous, and I think it sets up Halo again for a lot of backlash and for people to be like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. And I don't think this is a problem with 343 so much. I don't think that they've, you know, really said that this is a relaunch and stuff. You know, Forge is going to be launched in a beta form. There's no custom game browsers. As of right now, we've seen two Forge-made maps that are going to be made into the rotation, but, you know, the Pit and other Halo 3 maps will be coming out. But there's no certain affinity battle royale mode coming. There's no campaign DLC. And that's because I don't think that this is a relaunch. I just think that it's so stupid to say that. I understand that people want to get clicks and stuff. But really, it just hurts the game in the long run. I'm still on the boat thinking that Season 3 is going to be that relaunch where we're going to see a lot of the fruits of the labor of the new people who have been hired, the new minds that are in charge. They've had tweets and, you know, interviews and stuff talking about how Season 3, there's going to be an expansion of the narrative events. And that's when we're supposed to get the custom games browser. And that's when I really think people are going to start coming back. Because once you have these custom games, you know, they're going to be built out and everything over the course of the winter update. And people are going to come back when there's an actual custom game browser in-game. I know there's a lot of fan-made stuff happening, but making it easier for people, removing barriers, you know, maybe people don't want to talk to anybody. In a Discord, they just want to play the game. So that's what I see. I, I think Season 3, I, I can't imagine that they're going to make us wait, you know, even longer. I know that the Battle Royale has been kind of rumored to be pushed back. There's not supposed to be any campaign DLC or expansion or new Halo games coming out. All their focus is in Halo Infinite right now and pretty much the multiplayer side. So I guess we'll see what happens. I just, I kind of wanted to rant about these, you know, quote unquote news outlets spreading false information. If you guys agree with the video, let me know in the comments down below. I read every comment. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!